Hello everyone, so this time let's discuss your module 4 which is evaluating algebraic expressions, addition and subtraction of polynomials. So first, we have your lesson 1 which is evaluating algebraic expressions. So steps in evaluating algebraic expressions. So first, replace the variable with a given number, value, substitution, and Perform the indicated arithmetic following the order of operations. First, simplify expression within grouping symbols such as braces, parentheses, or brackets, and as indicated by fraction bars. Then, simplify powers. Then, simplify products and quotient in order from left to right. And simplify sums and differences in order from left to right. Or, follow the PEMDAS. So, example in evaluating algebraic expressions, we have here, find the value of 2x minus 4 for x is equal to 3, meaning the value of your x is equal to 3. So, solution, step 1, will use substitution. So, given we have here 2x minus 4, where x is equal to 3. So, you just have to substitute the value of your x dito. So, since the value of your x is 3, meaning substitute 3 for x. So, we place 3 here instead of x because we substitute 3 for x. So, now we have 2 times 3 minus 4. Next, we have to multiply 2 and 3. So, we multiply natin si 2 and 3. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 minus 4. Right? 2 times 3 is equal to 6 minus 4. So, copy mo lang yan si 4. Tapos, we have to subtract 6 and 4. So, the answer is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, yung anak siya pag evaluate of algebraic expression. So, first, given man ang value sa itong x, so we have to substitute it for our x. And then, follow the steps, the operate name mo, and after that, you can get your answer. Now, let's try another example. Evaluate the polynomial. If we have here 2 times x plus 3 plus 3 times x minus 3, when x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 5. Meaning, from this example, you have your value of your x and y. So, x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 5. Now, solution. Step 1 is the same thing what we did in our previous example. We have to substitute the value of our x and y para makuha na to ang answer. So here, the value of our x is negative 3. So replace x, all x, with negative 3. So now, since the value of your x is negative 3, so replace here. So 2 times negative 3 plus 3 plus 3 times 5 minus 3. Nga nung 5 ni? Because the value of our y is 5. So replace x with negative 3 and y with 5. Next is, i-operate natin ang lahat na nasa parenthesis. So, we follow the PEMDAS. So, delete natin siya, i-multiply dirit. So, but we have to operate yung mga number na nasa sulod sa parenthesis. So, since si negative 3 plus 3 na nasa sulod sa parenthesis, so, ato sa na siyang i-compute. So, negative 3 plus 3, meaning 0. So, si 5 po na itong i-operate minus 3. Kaya naman siya sa solution sa parenthesis. So, 5 minus 3, we have here 2. So, tapos, we have to multiply. So, 2 times 0, we have 0. 3 plus 2, ay, 3 times 2, we have 6. So, after that, we have to add. So, 0 plus 6, 6. So, your answer is 6. So, the answer of your polynomial in evaluating it, if your value of if the value of your x is negative three and y is equal to five, so you get the answer 
See, so, kana, yung ano lang siya, you have to substitute the value of your x and y, then operate the given operations. So, let us practice. So, I want you to try these examples. So, just follow the um, process in order to get your answer. So, given na mga value here, and you need to do is to substitute it in order to get your final answer. Answer. So comment your answers below. I hope you learned something today and um, please do participate in answering these um, examples. That's all and may God bless you.